On January 12th at 4.53 p.m., a deadly earthquake with a magnitude of 7.0 ripped through the nation of Haiti and changed it forever. Some estimates are saying that there's 200,000 dead and 2 million left homeless. In some towns, over 95% of the buildings are destroyed and now lay in ruins. We believe that this is our moment to stand beside the Haitian people, to support and lift up the Haitian pastors and their, their community leaders so that they can become the heroes to their own people. We acknowledge that this is going to be an event that takes years to recover from, not months. And we refuse to just text our $5 and forget about them. We are in it for the long haul. We as a church are committed to attacking this enormous challenge in three phases. The first being of collecting and, and sending cash to our Haitian pastors and community leaders so that they can purchase supplies that are already in Haiti and get them to the people that need them most. The second phase being donating and shipping supplies such as food, water, and medicine. This will happen after the port has been rebuilt and all the logistics in Port-au-Prince has been cleared up. The third and probably the most important phase is the cleaning up and the rebuilding. This will be our longest phase. This will require us to collect and ship lots of building supplies and equipment and then send teams down so that we can provide the manpower that they so desperately need. Be creative in finding ways to leverage your talents and your skills to raise money. For instance, Mike Jennings and what he's doing is a perfect example. As instead of having to give money, he's leveraging his skills and his job to give money that way. Well, fourth, we are currently organizing a silent auction so we need a team of volunteers that can go into businesses and ask for big, um, let me repeat, big donations so that we can raise a lot of money. And fifth and finally is to give. Give our money, give your time. Make sure that the Haitian pastors have the resources to become the heroes of their people. Go to crossroadsvineyard.org and click on the donate page. Don't delay, the Haitian people are waiting. But this is what Crossroads is all about. Our faith meeting the real life needs of the Haitian people. I'm so proud of what I've already seen, the efforts and the heart, and even the money that you guys have already raised. I don't know if you guys know this, but we have already raised almost $8,000 for Haiti. And I can't wait to be able to give Pastor Luke that first 50000 and tell him to go buy water and food and medicine for those that need it the most. And I can't wait to see God blow our expectations out of the water as we do this. And it really is true. As we partner with God in what He wants to do, all things are possible. And I can't wait. Can you?